Hello boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to my shack. Have a, a little bit of an unboxing for you today. Um, we had, recently we had our, our statewide ARES conference um, and also uh, along the lines of here uh, recently uh, the section has been uh, pushing a lot of people to get into uh, DMR or digital mobile radio. Um, I'm fairly new to the digital modes myself. Um, I've experimented with uh, Yesu System Fusion C4FM, uh, Wires X, and you know Echo Link and IRLP uh, a little bit here and there. Nothing uh, too deep. Um, this is kind of a new area to me. Basically, kind of. Um, kind of leery about making it something that I rely on um, due to the fact that everything is internet linked and of course uh, in a grid down situation uh, the internet most likely will not be there for us to use um, and that's where you know traditional uh, radio frequency works every time uh, in the right you guys know what I'm trying to say anyways so did a little bit of research and decided to just jump in uh, head first and just to to try it out and play with an experiment and see what see what becomes of it see if it's something I like um, got on Amazon and found a deal for a new addition to my radio shack so with that let's get into the nitty-gritty here Amazon Prime pulled it off. Of course, love Amazon. Everybody does. So, as you can see, it is a TYT, also known as Titera, DMR digital two-way radio, and this is an HT. And many of you probably have already read that it is a Titera. MD380 DMR radio, also known as Moto Turbo. Um, it's 5 watts on high power, 1 watt on low power, and uh, has the AMBE Plus 2TM vocoder. Um, this one uh, is for the 440 band. There is a 2 meter model available, but uh, most of the repeaters around me right now are on the 70 centimeter band. So I just decided to go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, I really am waiting for uh, the dual bander to come out. Uh, it also, you know, it all depends. If I like it or not, I may end up buying a DMR mobile. You never really know. Uh, we'll wait and see. Um, wait and see how it goes. So uh, this has a thousand memory channels, uh, one watt of audio power, and a lithium ion battery. Um, if you want to read any about any more um, into the specifications, you can pause the video now and take a gander if you'd like. But I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty about it real quick. So, all right, let's open her up and have a look see. Okay, so here is the transceiver itself. We get the box to stay open. Here are your function buttons and your push to talk button and your channel selector knob and your power and volume knob. Pretty decent size screen. I looked a little bit smaller in the pictures from what I, I saw and from what I thought. Uh, your connections for your speaker and mic and also for the programming cable. Uh, feels pretty, pretty solidly built, um, pretty heavy, um, kind of just like uh, it's, it's a little bit lighter than the FT60 uh, here. I really shouldn't make that comparison until we get the battery on, um, but yeah, there's the uh, the transceiver itself. Let's see what else we got here. 
and of course the manual which we will definitely have to take a read through <laughs> from what I've heard these things can be a bit of a pain to get to know but once you get it down it's it's smooth sailing but we'll see how that goes okay we got the battery it is a 7.4 volt 2000 milliamp hour battery made in China uh, one thing uh, let's see if it's in here the belt clip does not attach to the back of the transceiver itself it actually attaches here via two screws to the battery uh, it's not necessarily one of my favorite things but it's uh, something I can get used to I prefer having um, my belt clip attached to the transceiver itself uh, like the FT uh, FT60 here uh, that way you just switch out batteries hassle free uh, it's just a minor thing you know give or take some uh, we're not going to take that belt clip out we don't want to lose the screws and screw ourselves and a wall wart adapter for the charger pretty much your standard wall wart there and the charging base does have an indicator light um, it's red when it's charging and of course green when it's complete and we have a stubby antenna for the UHF band and a high gain antenna I think we'll just go ahead and put uh, the high gain antenna on for right now. We'll slide her into the charger here, the charging base, and the programming cable for the radio itself and a mini disc with the programming software now one bit of a warning um, I never really use um, this programming software that comes on this disc it's just one of those um, things that kind of makes me eerie uh, leery about uh, you never know really what's on these um, I prefer to download the software uh, from the website. That, that, that way I know that it's official. Uh, the one problem with some of these Chinese radios is that there are counterfeits out there. And unfortunately, um, I've read where a couple people have gotten um, a virus on their computer for the, from these discs. And honestly, I just prefer to do this and get rid of it. Um, and I use the software from the manufacturer's website because if the software from the manufacturer's website does not work from uh, on this on the radio it's kind of like a, a red flag to me that I didn't get a genuine um, a genuine unit just one of, it's just one of those things that I'm kind of picky about what I put on, on my PC um, you know just don't want anything happening really so and then some kind of a verification thing here I'm not too sure um, <laughs> as you can see all it says is verification and it looks all shiny and pretty verification TYT sciences and technology electronics company limited TYT And that's it for the uh, unboxing part. Um, I'm not going to do, um, I'm not going to show you how to do the programming and stuff uh, in this video. 
Uh, like I said, this is something that I'm still tr learning to do. Um, so, but once I get it down, I might make a video or two and, uh, you know, a quick explanation on how to do things. And um, in the future, once I get it programmed and whatnot, maybe we'll have, um, you know, a couple uh, Acusa videos on it. So, uh, let's turn her on real quick and see what, uh, see what she sounds like and what she looks like here. Okay, so it says channel 16, zone 1. And of course your volume knob. And the keys are backlit, you probably can't see very much from uh, the video. But and then also your channel selector up here. So, but yeah, we're going to uh, get it programmed and see, see what all... Um, what all that entails and I'll get back to you so with that thanks for watching uh, if you're interested in ham radio or any other kind of outdoor shenanigans or anything like that feel uh, feel free to subscribe or to hit that th and make sure to hit that thumbs up button down at the bottom so with that have a great night this is KE8AFF and I will be clear have a good night guys